Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I want to show you how to get rid of your permission denied error when you try an SSH to GitHub. The most common reason people get a permission denied error when they try an SSH into GitHub is because they use their own username when they use the GitHub address. So my username is CameronMCNZ. So sometimes you see people saying CameronMC at github.com when they try and log in and every single time you'll get a permission denied error that has to be git at github it'll figure out who you are based on your ssh keys now i can tell you right now that actually for me that's not going to solve the problem because i've got much deeper problems look here's my rock paper scissors repository there's the beautiful green code button there's the ssh url i'm going to copy it i'm going to come to powershell i'm going to do a clone and look at this as soon as it tries to clone i get this boom git at github permission denied now that's the way it should be git at github but i've got problems so if you've got problems like this look in your .ssh folder in your .ssh folder you've got to have these public and private key files if you don't have these in your ssh folder and that's right off the user's home directory i'm logged in as a user named owner it's .ssh under the owner's directory, same home directory if you're on Ubuntu in Linux as well. Make sure you've got that public and private key button. Now here's the other thing, that public key has to be up there on GitHub. So, uh, you know, if you look in here, you can see the content of that file. Well, that content has to be up here over on GitHub. So you go settings, you go SSH and GPG keys, and here's the key right there. And I don't know, is it the same key? Well, I can tell you right now, if that value there isn't the same as this value here, I'm going to run into trouble. So here's one thing you can do. Delete that key. Yes, I understand I'm deleting that key. And delete these keys. Get rid of them. They're not working. Why do you even need to keep them around? And then, okay, then generate new ones so you come over here you open up powershell you say look i need to generate some new keys so you go ssh key gen pass in a dash o sprinkle in a dash t say you want an rsa key and then maybe even add your email address as a comment generate some keys you'll notice over here a couple will get created i have to specify that yeah i want them in that ssh folder so yes and no passphrase and boom i get some handsome art over here that just makes my day and here are the two keys okay now still if i try and connect and i run that key generating private key oh that's not what i wanted to do terminate i wanted to clone um it says, hey, I'm going to try to clone. Looks like everything's good. Are you sure? I'll type in yes. And then boom, again, geez, it almost worked, but <laughs> GitHub permission denied. Okay, so, and the reason is that public key has to be registered up over on GitHub. So I'm going to open that, reload it because it's changed. Open it again, make sure I've got the right one. There we go. And I'm going to take this file and copy it. So I've copied the public key. You've got to copy the content of the public key. I'm going to delete that known host file as well. Head over to github.com, log in, go to SSH and GPG keys, and just create a new key. Paste that value in, give it a name, Cameron's key, add that SSH key, maybe log in again just because well you know <laughs> wants to make sure it's you adding all of these keys and now i know for sure the key that's up here is the same as the public key over here that public key matches my private key i also know what the url to clone my repository is although i can always come back here sometimes people like to see that so i'll see what my repositories are i'll find that rock paper scissors repository and that ssh url just comes from right here so I'll copy that again but it's the same as before and now watch this i'm going to clear this window it's a control l to clear click the up button to bring in the command that i previously had click enter and boom watch this it says are you confident that your local private key and the 
public key up in GitHub or in sync? Yes, I am. It says it's adding that GitHub key in. And then finally, look at this. It's actually doing a little bit of work here and it's figuring everything out. And I can tell you right now what it's doing is it's cloning that remote GitHub repository. Everything works. If I do a little ls command here or dir command, you can see there's that rock, paper, scissors folder. I can go CD rock star because I am a rock star and you can see all the files that were up on the server are right there. So there you go. I have fixed that permission denied error. And by the way, one way just to make sure that things are working, you can always just do this SSH dash big T get at GitHub. Dot com. I couldn't do this earlier because I knew my keys weren't working, but now that they're in sync, when I do this and click enter, boom, all of a sudden it says, hey, Cameron MCNZ, we know who you are. Your public and private keys match. We like you and you can clone all you want. And there you go. That's how you fix that GitHub SSH permission denied error. Now, there you go. That's how easy it is to get rid of that permission denied error when you SSH to GitHub. I hope that helped you out. I genuinely do. If you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. and We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps, tools, and the like. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and uh, subscribe on the YouTube.